academy that uh, we have right now. It's my life, my, my love sport. It, it was a, a big idea when uh, we were younger, the coach and I, and now we can say that uh, we made our dream. Here, one of the corners of, of, of the academy uh, is a place that uh, I need to relax when I come back from the tournaments. It's a place that you can smell tennis and live very calm. And um, for me and my family and my kids, it's very nice to live here. I think the people can talk more about me than me myself. <laughs> I'm Alan Boyks, I come from Mexico. My name is uh, Alexander Oblikov and I'm from Russia. I'm Raghav Hirsch, I'm 16 and I'm from India. I'm Zola Kaysberg, I'm from Australia and I'm 14 years old. I'm Esha Kaysberg and I'm from Australia and I'm 12 years old. He's one of the greatest players in the world in the history of tennis. He seems like a nice person. I think he's a great person. A very disciplined and sincere, you know. That cares about the, his players, about all the players of the academy. Uh, he has all the things that we need to follow, like discipline, respect and pay attention to him. I went with my father there and I was watching some matches and I spent two days there uh, seeing the, the players on the tour and um, it was you know, a special moment for me and uh, when I was at tournament I wanted to play when I was at that time I was thinking oh maybe I can play this in the future you know and then and then I won it yes 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 After retire, it's, it's a time, a very difficult time. It's like an empty time, nothing to do. So the academy for me was everything. I think here it's very uh, familiar. Uh, people here are, are very close. It's not like maybe other academies that uh, they have the people that uh, they work at the academy and they and then they leave for the ha their houses. So here it's like more, much more closer. The people are controlling ab about every time of, of the hour of the of the day. So uh, let's say this make us a little bit different than the others. And people here feel a, a little bit more like they are in their houses because this you know, built step by step and like every year it's, you know, something new. We're gonna, we're gonna invest money in, in reset the gym and uh, we're gonna make uh, some more court, a tennis court, some more paddle court and uh, some more uh, residency for players. So the academy, it's like never finish. Uh, we are trying to um, get in better and better every year. So. Of course, I'm very satisfied with the academy that I have, but of course, we wanted to have it even even better every year. A part of the tennis, because my tennis has improved so much uh, since I'm here, but the, for example, the mental strength has also improved a lot. Playing tournaments against people I've never seen, uh, also being here alone, all, all of that improves the mental strength of, I think, all the players here. The courts, uh, coaches, also I'm studying here, like in academy and living, so for me everything is uh, okay, I really like it. Uh, it's amazing, like, being an annual player here, you know, like, all the facilities you need here to become a great player, and great environment, and yeah, like, a lot of amazing players working here, so good motivation also. 
Uh, for me, I think the best part is meeting so many different people from different nationalities. It's amazing and also hanging out with people a lot older than me and younger than me at the same time. Try as hard as you can because that's all you can really do. How much effort you put in is how much you get out of it. And time is precious. You've got to put the everything into every training session. Never give up. Never, even if they're alone, even if they're miles away from home, they have to never give up to work as hard because everything is going to be better at the end. They, they, they can become professionals if they work as hard as they, as they can.